Hello, Avery Copeland with the Second Law of Thermodynamics Demonstration Experiment Part 2. Recall that we had a gooseneck lamp and two sheets of paper, one white, one black, with some ice cubes sitting on them. Now it's time to determine which one has melted more, the one on the white sheet or the one on the black sheet. Okay, so we want to pour the liquid from the ice cube on the white sheet out into this measuring cup. Now I have to fish out the ice cube itself and then I can measure that this has about um, 20 milliliters of water that has melted off the ice cube. I'm going to put that over there and now I'm going to measure the water that is coming off the other ice cube. Now I have to fish the ice cube out because you know the ice cube started out about the same size and the Archimedes principle states that the volume of the two ice cubes will be the same whether they're liquid or solid, right? So I've got to fish the, fish the solid out and see how much liquid is left. Okay, let's see. I told you milliliters on the last one, right? Ah, oh, yeah, and this one is about 25 milliliters. So the one on the black sheet of foam or construction paper actually melted slightly more than the one on the white sheet. Now, why is this? Well, we have the gooseneck lamp radiating the sun's energy onto the sheets. Um, but the black sheet absorbs more of the uh, light spectrum than the white sheet. The white sheet reflects it and um, so that that ice cube does not does not absorb as much radiant heat as the other one. Okay, now the other thing that was bugging me was that my uh, convection experiment was kind of a crash and burn. So I set up another one here. I have here an extremely large candle and an extremely small piece of tissue paper. It's brown just because that's what I could find. It's not significant at all. Okay, if you feel above the candle, you'd be able to feel heat coming off the candle. Okay, and I'm going to hold the tissue paper above the candle, and what you'll see is the tip of the tissue paper starts to flicker up and down, okay? Um, just throw my tissue paper. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know, which end I pick. The end over the candle is going to start to go up. See, it's wiggling back and forth. And that is due to the convection current of the, the hot air rising, and then the cool air is, is falling down to the outside. But that hot air rising is what you see that's causing the tissue paper to move.